In this video, I'll introduce the EVECore project. EVECore is a simple microcontroller architecture. In addition to the core design, this project also includes an implementation in System Verilog. There's plenty of written documentation, as well as several hours of instructional video going over the architecture and the System Verilog implementation in very great detail. The EVECore website includes all the code, the documentation and videos, the assembler, and some example programs. In this video, I'll be giving a quick overview of the EVECore architecture, as well as introducing the video playlist and discussing the project itself. The project includes the EVECore instruction set architecture, the System Verilog implementation, a bunch of written documents, the EVECore assembly language and an assembler, and the videos. Let's focus on the architecture before discussing the rest of this slide. EVECore is fundamentally an 8-bit architecture. There are eight registers of 8 bits each. The A register is a bit special, and many of the operations act just on the A, or accumulator, register. The program counter and the stack pointer are 16 bits in length, which accommodates a memory size of up to 64 kilobytes. Some of the registers can be combined to form 16-bit register pairs for use in memory indexing and so on. In addition, there are four condition code bits that can be used for conditional branching. So to repeat, we have eight registers of 8 bits each. We have a program counter, a stack pointer, and four condition code bits that can be used in testing and conditional branching. We can support up to a 64 kilobyte main memory. And it's interesting that the EVECore can be implemented either with a von Neumann or a Harvard approach. With the von Neumann approach, you have just a single unified memory. But with a Harvard implementation, the program memory is separate from the data memory. The Harvard implementation might be appropriate for microcontrollers where the program is preloaded into a flash memory. We also have instructions for input and output to various peripheral devices, and the implementation on the website provides a UART interface, that is to a serial communication, and if you want other stuff, you are free to implement it. For example, you might implement uh, general purpose IO pins, pulse width modulation, SPI interface, and whatever else you can think of. There are a number of different instructions which fall into these general categories. The instructions are encoded into either 1, 2, or 3 bytes. We have instructions to move data between registers, instructions to load immediate values into registers. Uh, there are a number of load and store instructions using both absolute addresses as well as indirect addresses with offsets. We have a number of conditional branching instructions. And we also have unconditional jump instructions that use both absolute addresses as well as indirect addressing. We have call and return instructions. We have push and pop instructions. And we have some instructions for performing I.O. on the various peripheral devices. And of course, we have a bunch of arithmetic and logical operations, both for 8 bits and 16 bits. We can do addition, subtraction, both with and without carry. Uh, we have sign negation. Uh, we have some logical operators. Uh, we have four shifting instructions. And we have instructions to increment, decrement, and zero out the A register. And we have a compare instruction. We also have an instruction that will do addition for 16-bit register pairs, as well as moving data between register pairs. So that's a brief introduction to the eCore architecture. The full architecture is implemented in System Verilog, and this is uh, tested and running on a small FPGA. In fact, some of the videos include demonstrations where we run the FPGA on small example EVECore assembly programs. The website includes a bunch of documentation, both formal specification stuff as well as overview material. There is an EVECore assembly language, and the website includes an assembler written in C that you can download and compile in order to assemble your own EVECore programs. Everything on the website is free and open, so you're welcome to use it however you want. And there's also a collection of videos. 
Uh, some of the videos go over the architecture of the eCore processor, and then there are a number of uh, videos that go over the Verilog implementation almost line by line in great detail, and they, that will help you understand the Verilog implementation. I've also included video material uh, that discusses the various design decisions that one has to make in designing an instruction set architecture, uh, some of the lessons that I've learned and some of the mistakes that I've made. And I also discuss possible additions or projects that you might want to implement on the Eve Core architecture. One question you might want to ask is where exactly does the Eve Core project fit within the absolutely gigantic and wonderful world of computer processors. Well, of course, there are a number of microcontrollers in use today, such as the 6502 and the AVR processors, which are used for the Arduino boards. And I would say that these are too complex for a lot of people. Even though they are the simplest microcontrollers out there, uh, even smart university students can struggle with the documentation and trying to understand these things. You know, going beyond that, we have the cores that are in use for the laptops and cell phones today. That is the ARM and the x86-64 and the RISC-V processors. And these things are really too complex for any mortal human to understand. I mean, I've gone through these processors and they are just really, really complicated. At the very simplest end of the spectrum, you've got some hobby projects. Uh, these are projects that are very, very simple, and they can help you understand how computers work, but they're really too simple to actually program. A wonderful example is the Bin Eater 8-bit computer, and he's got some great videos online, which uh, if you want something simpler than the Eve Core, then this is where you should go. With the Eve Core project, I wanted to design something that would fit somewhere halfway between these hobby projects and typical microcontrollers. Something that you could wrap your head around, but that you could still end up programming and writing some significant, you know, complex programs. So uh, that's where the Eve Core project fits within the computer landscape. Just to say a few more words on the goals of the Eve Core project. I wanted to design a core that was easy and simple to understand and that was actually usable and fun to program in assembly language. I might be dating myself, but I truly like to program in assembly language. I also wanted something that might be useful for teaching microcontrollers that was a little bit simpler than the 6502 and the AVR microcontrollers. I wanted something that was fairly straightforward to implement in Verilog and that could form the foundation for student projects. And personally, I wanted to make a video series on how to implement cores and how computers work uh, targeted to FPGAs. And for that, I chose a small FPGA board that you can buy from nandland.com. It's called the Go Board, and it features an ICE-40 FPGA from Lattice Semiconductor. And so for $70, you can buy this board and follow along with this project, or you can just simply download the system Verilog code and run assembly language programs. You can watch the videos if you want to, to understand how it works. I also was thinking about uh, possibly designing a core for the purposes of a student project, implementing a core in silicon, and I wanted something that was a little bit simpler that students who are more focused on uh, silicon impl implementation could understand. Really, in the final analysis, I created the Eve Core uh, pro project for my own enjoyment. I enjoy creating and designing uh, instruction set architectures and writing code and writing Verilog, and I enjoy making the videos. So I did it for my own pleasure. Anyway, I hope you can enjoy it and get something out of all the work that I've done. Um, everything is available on this website here, and I encourage you to take a look. But in any case, uh, that wraps up my brief introduction to the EveCore project, and so I want to say thanks for watching.